In last lecture, we have initialized TypeScript support. We have installed a couple of dependencies and we have initialized required tsconfig.json file. Let's continue and let's talk about the options defined in a tsconfig.json file. And let's start with the first one, compiler option, which is a target ES5. Okay, so to note here that if we are writing a code in the TypeScript, it doesn't mean that the TypeScript will be executed in your browser when you will run your code. Your TypeScript has to be converted, it has to be compiled into JavaScript because you cannot run TypeScript code, you cannot specify types in a valid JavaScript code and it cannot be executed in every environment such as your browser. And ES5 is a simply version of the JavaScript, it specifies a list of the features that can be used in this specific version of the JavaScript. Okay, so specific syntax that's allowed there and also features. Okay, so we have a, so we defined last time JavaScript. In our browser, we'll be running JavaScript. Oh, that's not what I want to write. We will be running JavaScript of the version ES, ES5. Okay, which will be executed here in our browsers. Okay, if we are not sure what our ES5 are support, so ES5, let's search here for ES5 JavaScript or just a JS, and you can see here a list of the features. So W3 schools, and here are a list of the features you can use. You can use, for example, array functions, for each map, filter, reduce, and all of this stuff, and also syntactic changes that you can use in this specific version of the, of the, the JavaScript. Okay, so we are writing TypeScript, but it's compiled in the end to the JavaScript version ES, ES5, which can be executed in our, in our browsers, and also in other browsers. So if we are not sure that we can write ES5, uh, JavaScript browser support, and you can see a list of the browser that support the specific version of the ES5 version. So ES5 version here, released in 2009. You can let's see here a lot of the features, and also we would like to see browser support for ES5 supports up to this version. Okay, so from a version of 23, Google Chrome, Firefox, and so on, from the release in on this release dates and on, it will support. ES5 version. ES6 is a newer one, so not every browser you can see it starts support. Just a Chrome from a 55 version and Firefox from a 52 version supports the ES6. So we could go easily also with the ES6 because you can see it's going just the four years into the past. So I am pretty sure that everybody has already these versions. So we could also simply go with the ES6, but just to be sure that we can be run in every browser and also the older ones, we'll go with the ES5. No big deal here. Okay, so we are going with the ES5 version of the JavaScript. All right, what you can see here also in a lib is what TypeScript or what types libraries will be using in our projects. We have here some global types we can use in our projects. Uh, maybe you are not aware of, of uh, some of them. I will, uh, I can, for example, show you at at uh, event listener options, just as an example, and you will can guess from which TypeScript file this this type coming from. So const, let's write here just some testing variable, we'll call it let, and let's call it let a. And I'll specify for a type of this let of a variable to be at even listener options. Okay, and where this type is coming from, I'm not defining here any type, I'm not importing here any type. So this type is coming from the library defined here in, a, in the lib. All of these libraries you can find in your node modules folder in a TypeScript folder. Let's find your TypeScript. All right, let's find here TypeScript. All right, so where are you TypeScript here? Lib folder. Okay, so we're going to lib folder and we are searching here for a DOM. A lib DOM, lib DOM, DTS. You can scroll down here and you can see here at event listener options are here. So you can see all these types from this file, from this typing file are defined here. So we can use here at event listener options. And also this applies for, um, as you can see here in package.json, not package.json, but tsconfig.json, dom iterable and esnext. You can also locate these files in the same folder. So go ahead, you can find them uh, as via, via the DOM. You can find there also dom iterable and also esnext. Okay. Okay, what else? We'll skip all of this for now. That's just a specific configuration. We'll be talking about a little bit of, just a little bit about this later. What here is a 
very important is include and exclude. What we are saying here, what files we would like to compile by TypeScript. And we are saying we would like to compile all of the folders and subfolders and the files with the extension of the TS and TSX, which are TypeScript extensions. And we would like to ex exclude the node modules because we don't want to compile anything in the node modules. Okay, that's not the part of our uh, of our code we are we will be running. So we don't we want to exclude this node modules uh, node modules folder. Okay, we would like to only include these files what we have here in our current current projects here pages and this file here next env dts. Okay, just very quick lecture. I just want to show you the target lib and include exclude. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. In the next one, we'll continue with the other options and we'll take a look on next env DTS file. Okay, and after that, we'll start coding and I will see. Okay, guys, so cheers.